<laughs> hey y'all this is BA it's Thanksgiving week we got tons of plans this week I'm sure I'm sure most everybody in the US does it sure feels like it uh, my best friend Sean Michaels flying in tonight I've got someone coming to pick something up from the garage today I have a TRS party that I'm doing uh, all week and I'm gonna give away some fun stuff so if you hop over it's trsparties.com I'll be there all week uh, let's see I have a my newest release coming out on Friday and I'm so excited because it's my first release with the Loris Cave it's a male male female menage paranormal set in Colorado and the name of the book is mating call and I have to say I I, uh, I wrote this book oh, I started about a year ago and I wrote the first part of it and then I kind of let it sit and then I came back to it and then before you knew it I had written the first book and then the second book too which has also just been accepted by Loris Cave and um, Stephanie is a witch living in Boulder Colorado and she is very very best friends with Jordan and Shaw who are werewolves that live outside of town and they've had a relationship going on for a while, nice and casual, you know, friends with benefits. And uh, I got to thinking, well, what would happen if all of a sudden somebody wanted more than just, you know, benefits? Uh, I'll read you the very first section of the book, and I hope you like it. The smell of burned sage never got out of robes. Never. Stephanie shook the heavy ceremonial robe, the fabric soft in her hands, and sighed. Maybe it was time to take it to the dry cleaners. Obviously, Woolite wasn't doing it. She hung it over the back of her grandmother's rocking chair. Tomorrow, she would worry about the robe. Tonight, the boys were coming over. <laughs> Tonight, she'd be coming over and over, if she's lucky. Jordan and Shaw were both worth shaving her legs for. They were worth all the fancy lotion she smeared on her body. They were, well, they were a force of nature. She grabbed her broom and swept the floor, picking up the little bits of herb and candle wax and fur. Piewacket was already in her spot atop the big wardrobe in the dining room that held Steph's supplies, black tail hanging down. A soft yowl sounded as she came close, and she reached up, tweaked Wacky's tail. I know, sweet lady, but it's almost the full moon, and goddess knows I'm not getting any hot, hunky loving outside the two of them. Wacky's yellow eyes glowed in the dim light, seeming to tell her what an idiot she was. That cat was expressive, almost magically so. Two years and I get about four orgasms per full moon. That's not bad for one night a month. It was close to perfect, really. She got her freedom to work, update the web website, create her spell kits and ship them out. The day before this full moon, she saved for her best boys. They were horny then, and they put aside their worries about the pack to come to her. They worried about their pack a lot, apparently. She was like their mother confessor a little. Which, okay, whoa, not sexy with the holster hips and the penguin outfit thing. No, today was tight jeans and a tank top, a see-through shimmery top in the same color of her eyes, deep and dark. Hmm, but they love her in green, though she teased them about dogs being colorblind. Oh, the green sundress. She loved that, and it was easy access. Wacky yowled again, and she chuckled, stroking the puffy tail on her way by. I'm making them steaks, of course. They're bringing dessert. You, lady, are getting tuna so you can hide in the library. Tuna for her cat, a nice long shower for her, and then sizzle the steaks on either side for her boys. It was a good plan. That book releases the 23rd, which is the Friday after Thanksgiving. And I hope y'all enjoy it. I sure did. I'm super ready for Thanksgiving. I've got family coming and Deshaun coming and Lorna's daddy is coming. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Busy, but excited. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> I also have allergies, you can tell. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Well, I have my punk, my pumpkin all wazzed up in the food processor. I have the turkey on order at the Whole Foods along with a little ham. I have to go shopping tomorrow to get all the things because I'll be damned if I'm stuck shopping on Wednesday. 
I just, ugh, I don't want to. You know I will, right? <coughs> Excuse me. You know that it'll be noon on Wednesday, and I'll be going. Oh, shit. I forgot that. Oh, we need to grab one of those. And, oh, but if we want that. But right now the plan is to shop on Tuesday, get all the shopping done, and not leave the house on Wednesday. We'll see how that works for us. Well, I hope y'all have a fabulous, fabulous Thanksgiving. I'm going to take my watery eyes and my sneezing to find a, a Zyrtec and possibly a sinus pill. This year, I am thankful for the ability to do what I want, what I love, to live with the person that I love, to be in a place that I love, and to have the ability to just to dream about things that I don't even know that I love yet. I hope y'all have tons of stuff to be thankful for and have a great week. Much love y'all. Bye.